Hello, mathematicians. Welcome to Mobile Math Academy's Black History Month series. In this video, we're going to talk about five mathematicians that you definitely need to know. So let's get started. All right, our very first mathematician we're going to talk about is somebody that you probably already know. We talk about him all the time in school. I know I remember talking about him all the time. Benjamin Banneker, born 1731 to 1806. Now, he is most famous um, for being a scientist, and he's best known for constructing the, the clock that struck hourly. Now, when we talk about Benjamin Banneker, he is a multi-talented man who is self-educated, who actually self-educated himself, self-educated himself in astronomy and mathematics. Um, he's a writer, a compiler of almanacs, a surveyor, and inventor. Now, if you know Washington, D.C., then you know Benjamin Banneker. You know how we have those streets um, set on a grid and I know I'm from Chicago so we have our streets numbered and we have names to our streets so it's really easy to find. Thank Benjamin Banneker for that. So we salute Benjamin Banneker. All right our next mathematician is Dr. Charles Lewis Reason. 1818 to 1893. He was an early child prodigy in mathematics and at the age of 14 he began teaching at the African Free School in New York. He promoted education among blacks and he also founded the Society for the Promotion of Education Among Colored Children. Now Dr. Reason is best known for being appointed university professor at a predominantly white college in new at which was new york central college so we salute dr charles lewis reason our next mathematician we're going to talk about is kelly miller 1863 to 1939 he's a mathematician sociologist columnist essayist and scholar he attended john john hopkins um, for postgraduate studies in math, physics, and astronomy. Now, he is the first person to teach sociology at Howard University, and he's best known as the first African American to attend Johns Hopkins University. We salute Dr. Kelly Miller. Now, let's talk about Dr. Dudley Weldon Woodard. 1881 to 1965, he, he's actually um, more achieved, he has achieved more than his predecessors at the time. He taught college level math for 20 years and he published his University of Chicago master's thesis in mathematics um, while teaching 20, for 20 years, so he was teaching at the time. Um, advanced the mathematics faculty steadily in only a quarter of a century. So he was one to um, promote um, mathematics teachers and professors at that time when, when it was most segregated. Also, he is the second, he was best known as being the second African American in the nation to earn a PhD and he, he earned that in math at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, so he was the second <laughs> African American in the nation to earn a PhD in math. And he established the math graduate program at Howard University. So we salute Dr. Weldon, Dr. Dudley Weldon Woodard. Our next mathematician is Dr. Martha Euphemia Lofton Haynes. And if you've been following my channel, you um, saw that I spotlighted her. So there's another video on her with more information about her. However, 1890 to 1980, she taught in Washington DC public schools for 47 years. She actually changed the face of the education system there and probably the nation. Um, she was the first woman to chair the DC school board 
and she also chaired math departments at Dunbar High School and the DC Teachers College, respectively. And she is best known as the first African American woman to earn a PhD in mathematics. I am so excited to celebrate all of these mathematicians. We we celebrate Dr. Martha Euphemia Lofton Haynes and all of our mathematicians today. Stay tuned for our next episode of Black History Month celebrating mathematicians. Thank you for joining and we'll talk to you soon.